We're now just a few weeks away from Municipal Election Day, and one of the big issues in the Thunder Bay Mayor's race is the proposed indoor turf facility. We spoke with all five mayoral candidates this past week to hear their thoughts on the divisive project. The current council hit the pause button on the facility in July, after learning the city application for $22 million in federal funding had been rejected. The funding would have covered around half the project's total price tag. So now, with the decision ultimately falling on the next term of council, where do our mayoral candidates stand on the turf facility? Out of the gate, I've read everything on the proposal. One of the areas that I liked about it is, you know, the, the usage of for, you know, seniors to be able to go walk in it as more of just a soccer complex. And the ability also that I read where they could shelter people during emergency times. So overall, we could usually, I mean, we could use a, a sports facility of that nature. The sports community has really done a great job. They have spoken out and said that they really need a facility, and I, I agree with them on that. I don't think that we need a $55 million super fancy in a swamp uh, facility. I think that we can do something a lot cheaper. In Edmonton, they built Canada's largest indoor soccer field for $8 million. It's a waste of money. We should be focusing on the people first, because... To quote Mohammed Gandhi, uh, you can tell a lot of, about a society by how they treat their most vulnerable citizens. Thunder Bay right now does not care about our most vulnerable. We just canceled the uh, the rescue, or what was it? Uh, uh, it was the uh, the, SOS. the SOS program. Thank you. We just canceled that. Why? That was a great program that a lot of people depended on. We need a new indoor turf facility, 100 percent. But what kind of facility? That's why. How can we do that? Remember, I had the last motion. As a bubble cover for William Stadium this winter, kids can play indoor. Why don't we have partnership? Why don't we have private sector get involved in that? Why City of Thunder Bay has to hold everything? We need a soccer facility. It doesn't have to be run or operated by the city. Uh, we got to do things for the young people. And uh, soccer is its not the game of the future. It's the game of now. And we have to make it easily accessible and inexpensive for parents and, and kids to, to attend and go to.